disappointed with our project for today. We were planning to fill our raised beds with good soil. I'm pleased we could find a source locally with bulk good soil. This is half compost and half mushroom soil, I believe. So we're very glad that we found a source for bulk products because it takes a lot of dirt to fill these raised beds. And so I'm pleased about that, but I'm disappointed. I really thought that a truckload of dirt would take us a lot farther, but watch along, see how we got this raised bed loaded up today. Today, we're going to start filling up our raised beds that we built with some excellent soil. The first step that we're doing right now, that Kevin is doing, is putting down some visqueen because these are free-floating, I guess you could say, raised beds. And it looks like there's a little bit of a gap maybe at the bottom of some of them in some places and we don't want our dirt to wash right out onto the landscape fabric out here and then we don't have any dirt in our raised bed so we're going to just use some of this visqueen that we had on hand put it down first and then add the dirt to it and see how far a half a yard of dirt gets us today our little truck only holds a half a yard of dirt we learned this lesson sort of the hard way in the past by trying to add too much and it gets us off right down into the axles, I guess it is. Is it, Kevin? Yeah, the axles that rub, we put tires. too much weight. It's just not a heavy duty truck. So um, it's not a very big bed. So we'll see how far this gets us. And we are able to pick it up from a local um, Landscape, landscape company. company and let's see how far this gets us i'm hoping we'll get several beds out of this half a yard but kevin i probably is more realistic <laughs> okay don't this in Full number two. We got that corner held up pretty well, but it looks like I'm going to have to hold up this one on the on the other side to make sure it doesn't cave in. I'll get to work on my holding up skills. All right, we got done putting this dirt in this raised bed. And now we had some that had sort of spilled over the side and Carol's gonna sweep that up. The reason we do that is because if we leave dirt on top of this ground cover and it just by some chance has weed seeds in it, they will grow from the top and the roots will grow down through the ground cover. So even though we've got the weeds covered up that are underneath it and they won't grow, um, we still have to make sure we keep the dirt and sand and stuff off the top of this thing or we'll end up with weeds anyway and so that's what we're doing now and carol's just going to sweep all that sand off of there and a lot of that sand see it can be just swept right back into that bed right there where those loofah are and we're good to go we also pulled up a bunch of ground cover over here from this area and so we're gonna put new ground cover down in that area. We pulled up the old stuff along with the weeds because it had been infested with weeds also. And so we'll smooth out this sand you see right here. And then we'll continue from where this ground cover leaves off and run it down that way. And we'll have another walk path through there. But there again, we will sweep up all of this sand right here on top of this ground cover just so it doesn't uh, decide to start growing weeds again. So if you've got the same thing at your place, 
you might want to keep this in mind and uh, consider sweeping off the sand whenever it gets on top of the ground cover. Okay, this is the final product, finished product, I guess you could say, of our raised bed with the dirt that we put in it. Carol's gonna probably go back later and trim that extra visqueen that you see there around the edges just to get that from hanging over the sides. This was just shy of a half a yard of dirt that we put in here. We had just a little bit left over and we used that in another bed and I will show you that. This bed right here is going to be our fall crop, one of our fall crops. We'll be planting this probably next month, August, which is only a few days away, apparently. Um, so this is gonna be one of our fall crops, and then we'll have some other stuff also. Let me show you the other side. This is another bed that we cleared that we had zipper creams growing in. And this is the little bit of dirt that we had left over from that half yard. And so we just brought it over here, put it in this bed, and we will finish this bed out. You can see where there's still just sand. And we planted some peas in here about a week or so ago. And it looks like there's like four of them that came up. And so they just didn't do well. They were old seeds. They were old seeds, yeah. And this is just sand. And that's the reason we're having to put all this composted dirt in here. Is to enrich this to where it will grow something. And you can see this is a pretty long bed. And it goes way down to here. And so once we get the rest of the dirt in here um, we're going to plant this whole thing again probably with zipper creams i think is what she said so yeah anyway so that's what we're doing out here thanks for watching today i hope you are also doing some raised beds getting some ideas of things that you can plant towards the fall season wherever you are we are blessed that this raised bed project works so well for us today I've got my scissors in hand. I'm going to trim this uh, black visqueen out of here. Just make it look a little neater. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please uh, suggest us to your friends and share these videos. And uh, give us a thumbs up. Give us some comments. We'd really appreciate any ideas you have for successes or questions about raised beds. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Stay tuned for details about our upcoming pumpkin patch for October of 2024. We hope lots of you will make it out to the homestead to take part in this fun time.